I am the next American Idol. Oh. Oh. What am I going to sing for you? Uh, Heartbreak Hotel. All right. Since my baby left me, I found a new place to dwell. Down at the end of Lonely Street near Heartbreak Hotel. Well, since my baby left me. Wow! Since my baby left me. Since my baby left me, I've been sad. Well, no sadder than that music, by the way, or that song. Pastor Rocky Branch here. Good morning to you. You know, American Idol is an interesting show, as well as The X Factor, as well as America's Got Talent. You know, the, some of those things are setups. So we understand that, of course. But a lot of those folks have a dream, and they come on, and they sing terrible. I mean, it's awful. I mean, Lord, have mercy. Somebody should have loved them enough to tell them, you are terrible. But you know, nonetheless, the talent doesn't escape the dream. The dream for a lot of folks is to have their name in lights, to be uh, rich, to be wealthy, to be in Hollywood, whatever the case may be. You know, dreams are not bad, but dreams must be within reality. And no matter how bad you want to sing, if you don't sing well, you're just not going to sing well. That's just the way that rolls. You can't change that. I have a lot of fun with that just simply because I think it's uh, enjoyable for us to carry on a little bit. An American Idol is something that thousands upon thousands of people try out for, but yet very few make it to that great top spot. But you know, it doesn't take care of the dream, though. People have a desire inside to be accepted. They have a desire, a fantasy inside to be at this level or that level. Maybe you're that way in some area of your life. There's a desire inside of you. There's a fantasy inside of you that how that you look, and this is very important, how that you look out of your eyes and see the world and how that the world looks at you and sees you. And sometimes that's different. That's why it's critically important and crystal clear in the Word of God to understand that God looks past all the facade, all the camo, all the disguises, and He looks straight into your life. And how important is that? Well, that gets the job done, folks. You see, sometimes when I'm around someone, maybe I may stand a little straighter. Sometimes when I'm around someone else, I might slump over a little bit based on who it is and what my relationship is with that person or who I meet, or who meets me, whatever the case may be. I know when I ride the motorcycle and wear the leathers and stuff, go into a store, stand in line, people are kind of stand away. When I wear a suit, go into the same store, go into the same line, people just are very comfortable. It's just amazing how different we are as people, and how wonderful it is to know that God's the same. God's the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. And beloved, listen. America's uh, American Idol, America's Got Talent, X Factor, whatever it may be, the reality shows that you see win a million dollars here, whatever the case may be. The point being is that you need to find out who you are, and you are something wonderful created in Christ Jesus. You may not fit in. You may not win American, uh, America's Got Talent or American Idol or X Factor or, or Survivor, uh, whatever. You may not win any of that. What you can do is win the greatest prize, and that's the acceptance in your mind to understand that Jesus Christ loves you, accepts you, and cares for you. And I want you to understand today that you're very special, and God loves you. You are not a mistake. You might have made mistakes, as I have, but you're not a mistake. God has something great for you. And no matter what you're facing today, beloved, listen, there's a better person in you than you think there is. So you rock on with it. If you're not supposed to sing, please don't, because that can be painful for people around you. I know. I want to tell you that God loves you and God cares for you and he did not mess up when he made you. So you are someone special. The world may not accept you ever, but you've already been accepted by the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. So live your life accordingly and God will get the glory and you'll have the peace of mind to know that even though people around you may not understand you, God that made you is not surprised by you at all. God bless you, we love you, and goodbye.